so you guys we have a brief interruption with our camping at Atwood we're going to basically prepare for a huge storm and it's rolling in right there so this is when it's time to put in the awning I'm not gonna wait until the rain comes how much <laughs> Helmet, see? I told you to put in the awning. So guys, we just made the deal with Atwood for the 2023 glam box. We assembled a whole wild dog crew out here. Oh, all the wild dogs. We're growing, we're growing. We're growing. Look at that. This is a shanty plant that she brought back. We had a spearmint. He's we only doing food. that because he's mad that he can't cook. So now you want to call that's a, That's plant. your plant. My plant is that over is here. And, it, and these plants are hard to keep, guys. It's coming down, y'all. It's coming down. Look at it. Guys, we are at our favorite park in Ohio. Okay, if you know us, you've been watching our videos, you would know that our favorite park is Atwood. All right, this is a brand, well, this is a newly built park. All right, let me show you our site. This is our site. We're on a concrete slab. We got a sun screen up to keep the, to keep the sun out but it don't keep the heat out. But anyway, let me tell you a little about this park. We discovered this park four years ago. Four years ago when we discovered this park, they got like a lake front where you can park your RV all down the lake. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, at least, it's at least 20, 30 sites along the lake. When we started vlogging about this park, we cannot get a lake, lake spot. <laughs> And that was so funny. But what's so funny is the section that we were in that we liked the most is H. We cannot even get an H section no more. So we are in the B section. I like the H section because the H section, it seemed like it's so lively over there, a lot going on. You can see the water from no matter where you at. So that's why I like the H section. But anyway, this campground here, Everything is all full hookups. I mean, everything. You got full hookup on every single site. So this is our hookups. Everything is full hookup. Everything is concrete slabs. Everything is nice. The roads are paved. I mean, everything is nice about this park. This park looks like a resort. It looked just like a resort, but they don't title themselves under a resort. It has a water park. It has bath houses all over the park. Brand new bath houses. But anyway, why, the reason why I'm bragging about this park so much is because this park is where the next plant out gonna take place. Good evening and welcome to the Adventure Bandits Glamp Out 2022. We are so happy that you guys are here and chosen to join us here at the, uh, the Glamp Out. Yes, I said it. We reserved a whole entire park for the next Glamp Out June 15th through the 18th. So if you haven't came to our Glamp Out, you're going to need to be at this Glamp Out because we're going all out for this Glamp Out. Pickleball is the thing now. 
this park has a pickleball court it has a basketball court it has a camp store as well as a nice camp office so this is a big park so right in this area here that we're coming up on right here is the tent camping it's all for tent camping so at this glamp out we're not excluding no one not even tenors if you want to come to the glamp out you got a tent come to the glamp out we got spots for you we got we got places where you can tent camp now i'm gonna go this way this is where the beach is located all this area is shaded tent camping so there's a place you could tent camp the sun is not beating on you. It's actually cool over here. Today is it's, it's like around 83 today, so it's, it's a little cooler over here under these trees. So you can come over here and get on an obstacle course, or you can just hang at the beach. So this is a nice area to hang out during the day. They got pontoons boats you can rent. They got kayaks you can rent. They got a load of everything that you can rent out here. But wait, I gotta show you the premium sites. For you, 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 the ones that want the premium sites, they got them here. So this section is the H section. This is the section the glamp out gonna be in. As well as the A and B section. Like that water view, just where you would be. So we are here at the office. Mm -hmm. For the 2023 glam bop. All right, they're taking us around. We're about to see the stage where we're gonna have our groups performing. It's gonna be a fun event. If you don't come, you're gonna be mad at yourself. Guys, you look at this here. Little amphitheater. This is where we're going to have a saxophone is at. Bob, this is where you're going to be playing at. Nice. Shaded. Open. That is not cooking. So you guys, we are making some Philly cheese steak for Din Din. Got the peppers, the onions, the mushrooms. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a roll and put some provolone cheese onto it. And then bada boom, bada bang, and we are good. Provolone. Anyway, see? See, provolone. Thank you, thank you. See? So, so guess what? I would I have to I have to say this you guys I I went into the grocery store I looked for hoagie buns to put in I will to use for the uh, Philly cheesesteaks and I could not find any 
literally i am not able to find a lot of ingredients i don't know if you guys are experiencing that at the grocery stores but something else that i'm experiencing is i used to be able to spend maybe a hundred and fifty bucks for our food for the weekend and uh come out with a whole bunch of stuff breakfast lunch dinner whatever now i am only able to make one meal off of 150 bucks like what is going on with the prices and where is the bread at like literally there's a bread shortage so um there's a, a there's a lot of empty shelves around and i am not about to go drive around all over town because gas costs too but it's getting real you guys getting real anyway back to the Philly cheesesteaks, y'all. So guys, I want to show you guys something. We talk about who got the green thumb. Shanti do not have a green thumb. This is Shanti plant. We brought these plants back from Florida. This is a Shanti plant that she brought back. We had a spearmint who can He's only doing that because he's mad that he can't cook. So now you want to call the that's a, that's plant. your plant. My plant is that over is here, and, plant. It, and these plants are hard to keep, guys. Oh Tr Tracy can tell you all about it because she killed hers while she was still in Florida. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> so this is my plant. Look at look at it. It's thriving. That plant is still thriving right there. See. Shanti did okay, but she didn't quite do, she didn't cross that finish line. That's a dead plant right there. You might as well just go ahead and prune it. Talmadge, both of them are my plants. It's just so <laughs> that, happened that that one That was the is one you took burnt. care of. No, you took care I of did that. Not, I took That's care the one, of all of them. So Shanti got a bad habit. She put plants up under that running water right yeah, there. And I told her, go. I told her, if you put the plant under there, you're going to mess up the plant. You're going to kill that plant. But she didn't want to listen because she thinks she got a green thumb. I'm the one with the green thumb out here. Okay, you know what? You're right. You're the one with the green thumb, and I'm the one that cooks, okay? And, and that's where you're wrong, too. You guys, Talmadge is a hater. He is so mad that he cannot cook. He don't even know what it takes to cook. That is a lost soul right there. Anyway. I'll let him go ahead and claim both of them dead plants. They both dead. All four of them dead. So, there you go. That's Talmadge's, that's Talmadge's green, supposedly green thumb. That's a shame. So, you guys, this is my meat right there. And I am going to take it off and then we're going to go ahead, put it on the bun and melt the cheese on there and we're done. We're going to go ahead and eat, put it with some chips, have dinner on Friday and there you go, you guys. Finished product. We are all done. And we're gonna ask Ashanti what she think of this when she come out. Say no. <laughs> so guys, we got the roaches here. Huh? I always say guys. Why do I always say guys? It'd be women on their channel too. Because well the women like Shanti, so I say guys. I relate. I relate to the guys since all of them took Shanti's side. So we got the roaches here, and we got, um, they all from my glamp out. Can you believe that? Oh, that, that liquor is strong right so there. So we are repping, uh, what, Bourbon 30. Yeah, we went to Kentucky. So we went to Kentucky. Somebody so said I, we drink too much, but we really don't drink too much. We only drink when we camping. So that's what, why well, it seems like we drink too much. When's the last time so you were home? Camping. Huh? When's the last time you were home, though? Yeah. And uh, not camping. <laughs> 
You're yeah. always camping. Yeah, so yeah I'm always up. camping. You're right. <laughs> Isn't this home? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is home, right? Yeah. Guys, we assemble a whole wild dog crew out here. The whole, all the wild dogs. We growing. We growing. Here we go. We growing. Look at that. <laughs> now that wild dog I don't know about right there at the end. So guys, we announced on our Facebook page that we're going to be at Atwood this week. So, Amy Lanuza, she reached out to us. I hope I said your name right. She reached out to us. She said her husband's birthday is, is this weekend. Come by and have a drink. But well, little did she know, we bringing a whole crew with her. With us. So her husband gonna have a good birthday this week. Everybody come and say happy birthday. Right here, make the left. I'm Tommy, it's nice to meet you. I saw you right by. Yeah. <laughs> She didn't, she didn't recognize her first. She saw me. She said bandits, but she saw me. She saw me. I saw, I saw Shanti riding that way. Oh, no, there you go. Thank you. How are you guys doing? How, you doing? How many times have you been here at Outwood? Um, this is the uh, second time this year. Last year, I think we were here two or three times because of you guys. Really? We, you know, I've been camping all my life, and I never knew about this place. Where are you from? Until last year. Uh, well, originally from Youngstown, but okay. um, I live in uh, in Dublin by uh, Columbus. Nice. And uh, we love it here. We'd like to get a seasonal flight. Oh. We, uh, we got in the lottery this year, but didn't make it. Yeah. We learned yeah. about the lottery too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we almost got in the lottery. <laughs> but with Shanti Love, we lost. <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful night. We're out here just hanging, hanging out, talking, chatting. Right here. Do like country. Who's your favorite? Uh, we have some seasonals here. Ch Chetney Cuzzy, or what's his name? interruption with our camping at Atwood we're going to basically prepare for a huge storm and it's rolling in right there so this is when it's time to put in the awning <laughs> I'm not gonna wait until the rain comes Talmadge <laughs> Helmet, see? I told you to put in the awning. 
I told you to put it in. I had it in. Push retract. Yeah. This retract. <laughs> told you to put it in. Hold up. Hold this here. Let me go get the other side. <laughs> told you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just that quick. I had him in and he took it back out. Don't look bad, but it's bad. Look at the cro the clouds. They're rolling. It's coming. Even worse. I can see it in the distance. Oh wow, people losing their tents over there and everything. They're out in the rain. This is the, some good live coverage. Right here. Uh, okay. Yeah. But this is better. Okay. I hope they put their on in. How's your pizza? That's good. How's your pizza? It's coming down, y'all. It's coming down. Look at it. Starlink is working. You can see the Starlink out there. Starlink is working perfect. We're here streaming TV. Santi about to watch a love flick. Ugh. Eating our pizza. I love that oven. Air fryer is an air fryer oven, and I love it. So this is not a COVID camper. No, like, you no, know, everybody we're right got, we're, we're COVID. COVID. Yeah, everybody right waiting. Right before COVID. <laughs> oh, right before COVID. Okay, okay. Yes. How, come in How you doing? <laughs> oh, wait, are you building? I'm just recording. <laughs> you always <laughs> have that crisp with them. I think <laughs> that. What? Adventure? What are you? Bandits? Bandits? Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, you better get, get it right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I you, got some. You cannot be friends with us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, so what, what was it about us that you like? Oh, <laughs> I, like I told you before, I think you guys remind us of us. Uh -huh. You know, the little bickering, the little, you know, one-ups. <laughs> you know, because so, uh, we like, like to have fun. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> we like to have fun. You and it, it really, people people think that you're actually getting into it, but it's really the type of relationship you have. It's exactly. just how you guys. It's called marriage. It yeah. is. Yeah. It, it's called uh. being married. <laughs> it's called being married to your best friend. Yeah. Because if you can't yeah. joke around yeah. and, yeah, you're and, you're right. and have fun, that is true. it's boring. And, yeah. You know, and you lose interest in each yeah. other and that. So that is true. We just, we have fun with each other and that, it reminded me of you guys a lot. So. Awesome. awesome. And your adventures and, you know. All the places you've gone that yeah. we want to go. Yes, Carolina Pines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And what was the latest one that Nashville. Yes, the Nashville with the water slide. Yes. Oh, oh. Uh, no, the one oh. that the, the this Nashville video. Okay. The okay. Oh, yeah. The oh, nice. yeah. It's yeah. Poor him. Bush light. Bush light. Supporting <laughs> the farmers. <laughs> This is the first drinking dog I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and you're out after one beer. Nice, Charlie. Nice. Charlie, you're like uncomfortable like this. <laughs> when I say 
we love this park we really really do love this park so since we are having the glamp out here we are really um i would have to say really inviting you and wanting to really really like interact with you share with you um, a lot of the places that we really really do um, love to camp at and we feel like when you come here next year for the glamp out this is the street above and as you see It is a very, very clean park. It's nice, it's beautiful. Um, I would say it gives you a lot of space in between each camp site. And uh, it has bike trails, it has basketball court. It also has volleyball court, pickleball. I mean, it just has a lot. So hopefully you will love it just as much as I do and um, yeah area B and then we have camp area G and I'll make sure to share that with you guys as well what it looks like but it has a bath house and their bath houses are super so um, I know a lot of people won't need it but just the fact that you're going to be in the area if you have someone that may need to use it they can use it and the good thing about it is they just don't have one bathhouse in camp area B they have two so there you go so it is close to two o'clock and uh it's time to go uh one thing i do like about this park is their checkout is at two but their check-in is at four so that's a little bit later but i just like that later checkout as you can see it helps especially when it's super hot but uh this is their cute cottage that they have here well they call it as a camp a, a cabin but it does not have a bathroom in it. It has one full-size bed. I don't know if you can see in there. One full-size bed. And it has a air conditioner, couch, a chair, 
so it is hooked up with electric just no running water but the good thing about that is it's located right by a bathhouse which is right there they have around three of those on the park so for the glamp out we will have three of them and unfortunately they are going to go fast so if you're needing a cabin make sure you get that as soon as possible lock that down they were playing the movie at last night um they'll have it here or you can have movie at the beach so but they had it there last night right there in that area over here you have a basketball court another park and you also have a volleyball net as well so this is a big park but i want to show you the bathroom so of course it's all about the bathrooms as well even though i don't use them but look at that clean this is one of the things that i really do like about this park is that They are clean. So there you have it. So you guys, let me just tell you a little bit about this part. This part of the campground is G and then we were in B, but B and G are really close together. Uh, G actually is over here and again all full hookups it's by the basketball court by a nice size park by the restaurant they have movie at the lake over here and that's where they had it at last night right up in this area but that's the G area over there things must come to an end we had a ball this weekend and i hope that you enjoyed this video we had a chance to hang out with the lenoza the roaches and the boils thanks yes. thanks for letting us rock with you guys this weekend and hang out with you guys and the baileys and, and oh, we can't forget the baileys nope and we also met a lot of seasonal campers that live here so kind and they know how to have fun so exactly. thank you for being very hospitable and yes, guys, this is the future place of the Glamp Out at Wood Lake Park. So, so we hope that you liked what you saw from our last Glamp Out in 2022. Yes. And we hope that you really got to see what our 2023 park will look like and the fun to be had. It has a lot of amenities, full hookups. Um, it has so many different amenities from dog park to beach and um pickleball basketball it has uh a beautiful bathhouses amphitheater and as well a nice amphitheater and a whole bunch of um pavilions placed throughout the park and you can go fishing and has a marina and it has a restaurant and they do movie night as well on Saturdays. So guys, with the next Glamp Out, we planning to bring live entertainment in. Um, also, we're gonna have games. We probably have potluck. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a lot of good different yeah. things going on and probably even a cook-off, who knows? Who knows? But uh, we hope that you like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that red button and ring the bell for notifications. And you guys, we will have the prices down below. Yep, check down here, below. Yep, you get to this park via 221, and that's the route you want to take. And guys, on that note, bandits out. <laughs>